Getting set for one of the best heats of the third round. Thanks for joining us. This is the Billabong Pro Tahiti. We're going to see last year's event champion Jeremy Flores out there in the blue taking on Australia's Julian Wilson who will be in the red jersey as the top seed in the contest. But here is Julian stalling. Getting some nice cover. Just getting lost on the phone ball for a minute but hanging on. And now goes to some of those solid backhand turns. Pretty decent combination to finish that wave off. Um, and so I think these guys are picking up on the fact that it gets really slow out here. Uh, get busy quick. Julian seems to be the most willing surfer in the, the ranks at the moment, Ross, to take on this end section. We've seen him on the reef a number of times. That's a good point. Um, and, uh, you know, especially at the size, we have seen some uh, extra energy today where I believe it becomes kind of like a non-issue to hit that last section but on these backup scores which th this feels like a backup score here you might as well commit to that last section because uh you know if you can turn a four five into a five five that could make the difference of getting through the next round julian wears a lot of kind of seems to be the way typically though uh, no one who goes on to surf that many heats out here in 26-year-old Jadson Andre surfing his sixth year on the championship tour. He's way down the ratings, but moving up, he wants to stick around for a few more years yet as Jeremy Flores takes off on what will be his best wave of this third round heat against Julian Wilson. Had a .43 throw away on his first ride, but... Um, so interesting to see, I'm interested to see where they'll go with this score for Jeremy because this is a far superior barrel, barrel so far in this heat. Nice stall right there, getting very deep back in it, uh, put himself right back in the pit. That's what the judges want to see, uh, and that's what they're scoring today. These barrels right here, that's pretty much what it's all about. So um, Jeremy getting a, you know, his patience finally paid off. Kind of a weird start with just that half a point, uh, but this should be the highest score of the heat so far. Yeah, it's um, it's been a roller coaster of a ride for Jeremy Flores, who you know from age 12, you know he was one of those child prodigies who was you know spotted right away. He's got so much talent. And Julian Wilson wants to increase his lead over Jeremy at a 6.83 earlier. He's hanging on to a one at the moment. He's going to replace that now. He's really been committed to finishing his waves off. And even one judge, judge number two, gave Julian the nod. Uh, so first up, let's look at his backup score. Just a small wave under priority, trying to stay busy as you do with 12 minutes left. Um, should be just a small score as, you know, the barrel uh, wasn't too fancy. Um, with that onshore breeze right now, you see a lot of crumble. But Julian doing very well to break through. Um, you can see it wasn't a clean barrel, so he had to, had to bust through the door there. Uh, but just a small wave. Well, he's back at the takeoff zone now, so nothing lost. Jeremy Flores didn't get an opportunity to tap into a big set. So Julian extends his lead just a little, but Jeremy still needs next to nothing to get himself into the lead. Here we go, Jeremy, using priority. Doesn't need a lot. A 3.89 will get him into the lead. And he's probably done that already. And just making sure of it now as he brings this one right through to that inside section of Reef. And that is a sketchy little spot that he finds himself in now. It's going to put the pressure on here in the last five minutes, Ronnie. Well, it's a good thing for Jeremy's board that this wave worked out because we saw at J-Bay, you can get frustrated at times. <laughs> he runs hot sometimes, but very fun to watch. Um, and so technically what happened there in that barrel, I, I think he optimized it pretty well. Uh, you know, it was... a. Uh, a decent wave, kind of a medium-sized little West Bowl, uh, stalled right away. And that's that talent we're talking about that Jeremy has, uh, sort of that sixth sense where he knows how to stall and speed up at will. Um, it's not something that's very easy to feel out. It is kind of a feeling thing, uh, but you have to really be in touch with the speed and have really good reflexes. Uh, and I liked that from, from Jeremy, but the score is not going to be huge just because it was an okay barrel. So we'll see if he can track it down, but Jeremy Flores... Just keeping his cool out there, not letting the, the clock get the better of him mentally. Spot in the fourth round, a tough draw with Joel, but here we go. Julian Wilson using priority, needs an excellent number here. He's stalling for the barrel, still in there, still going, and he'll find his way out. The fingers go up, there's a fist pump as well, 45 seconds to go. What a gift-wrapped wave there for Julian. 
had priority. You know, how many times have we seen the clock just tick down for guys uh, and let's leave them sitting there with their head in their hands, but not the case here. A wave showed up. He had to scratch Ronnie out to the lineup. That's how big this wave was. And he, um, I give him credit because he got himself in a really good spot, perfectly slotted. He didn't get uh, too far out to the shoulder. He put himself right there where he wasn't too deep er either, where you know he didn't make it and get swallowed up. That's position A right there. Great technique. Again, chest over that front knee, keeping that momentum forward. And uh, uh, again, uh, the judges loved it. They ate it up. I'll well, have a look at Jeremy Flores there. I believe that wave might have, may have been after the hooter, but Julian rewarded with a 9.2, so easily getting the excellent score he needed to move into the lead in the final stages there. And you'd have to call that an upset result. Jeremy Flores, one of the consistent performers at this location and last year's event champ is out of the mix here. We're going to take a quick break. More Round 3 action coming your way. We'll bring in Joe Tappel and Martin Potter for the call.